Hi, welcome to Phase 4 Engineering. Today we're doing a demonstration of our ultra miniature wireless battery free RFID pressure and temperature sensor. This sensor was developed by Dale Janish, our senior ASIC engineer, and uh, is the world's first RFID sensor. Uh, this is a specialty of Phase 4 Engineering, and we're in the ASIC lab today where this chip was designed and we're gonna do a demonstration of its features. But before we talk about the sensor in detail, the largest application for this sensor is uh, our partnership with Crane Aerospace. This is a valve stem out of a Boeing 777 aircraft. And actually, this is another valve stem out of a Cessna aircraft. And three of these ASICs that we're about to demonstrate are inside this valve stem. And this is a custom reader that was developed by Phase 4 to read these, uh, the tire pressure and temperature of an aircraft wheel on a Boeing 777 or a Cessna aircraft. And the battery-free wireless RFID chip that is used in this valve stem is used in many other applications, and that's what we're going to be demonstrating today be using this very small uh, RFID sensor. The black blob on this sensor is our RFID ASIC that is 2 millimeters by 2.4 millimeters and then we have a simple antenna on the other side. This chip does temperature and also can do other sensing such as pressure or vacuum or other uh, things you might want to sense. So we're going to set up a demonstration where we read this through carbon fiber, which is one of the real benefits of these chips, is to be able to embed them permanently inside of things and then read them through the structure. All right, for this demonstration, we're going to be using our lab test equipment here in the ASIC lab, and we're going to do a simple read through a carbon fiber structure. So I'm going to take the sensor that we previously showed place it inside of this honeycomb carbon or composite structure and then I'm going to place a carbon fiber sheet over that. Uh, this is the lab antenna for our lab reader and now Dale is going to do a read uh, using uh, an RFID signal. So there we have the tag temperature is 27.96 degrees. I had it in my hand, so it's probably warmed up some. The reference temperature is over here on our uh, test chamber, our environmental test chamber. And in the next part of our video, we're going to go ahead, put the uh, sample composite structure in this chamber, heat it up, and show how it uh, can report temperature wirelessly with no battery while embedded inside of a composite structure. All right, to show the sensing capabilities of an RFID battery-free sensor, we've taken our sensor and put it in the composite structure and placed it into this environmental test chamber that's set at approximately 16 and a half degrees Celsius and we're going to do a read on it now. And uh, while we do that read, I'll explain that this is our lab tester and uh, it takes a little bit longer than a normal uh, handheld reader or other device. Um, but uh, it, uh, it'll work fine for this test. And here we go. So right here we have the, uh, the tag temperature reporting 16 and a quarter degrees and the reference probe in the chamber at 16.4 degrees. And Dale, let's go ahead and open this up and, and get a shot inside the chamber. Uh, I'll just explain again. So we basically have our RFID drive antenna. The tag is inside the composite material. And then our reference probe is here, which is a, a precision RTD reference that's read by a uh, Agilent data logger. So let's go ahead and pull that out and, and show the sensor again inside the honeycomb. Okay. 
So this, this honeycomb stru composite structure has a layer of uh, carbon fiber on the top and bottom of it. And right there is the sensor that we were reading uh, with the RFID reader. Just to wrap up, uh, we did a demonstration of temperature here, but the, our RFID ASIC also has an external input where it can measure pressure, vacuum, and other things that uh, we might want to sense. So in addition to temperature, it can do one other sensing function also. Thanks for taking time to watch our video.